Welcome back to the channel. Before I talk about how to find drop shipping winning products every time, let me give you an overview that first thing first, you need to understand what a winning product is. Let's have a conversation about that boss because you're thinking, well, what is a winning product? Well, a winning product is a product that sells like hotcakes. Think about that. It's something that your, your target audience really wants to buy. I'm talking about really, really, really wants to buy. However, just because people brush their teeth daily, it doesn't mean selling toothbrushes will build you a six-figure or seven-figure e-commerce business. Think about all the competition that's out there already selling toothbrushes. It's crazy, right? So it's, it's important to have a, a quick idea, a better idea about what a winning product really is. So a winning product, in our view, is a product you cannot easily find selling everywhere it has no advertising restrictions. Very important. You don't want to. You, you don't want to have to deal with the ungating and gating that kind of those kind of restrictions. You don't want that, right? So the product should not have any advertising restrictions. The product has a wow factor. Really important. Okay. Winning products should also pleasantly surprise potential buyers. Think of the last clothing ad you saw on Instagram and clicked right away. That's the wow factor that I'm talking about. Okay. And you want a winning product that usually solves a problem. People are always drawn to products that can make their lives easier, okay? It could be anything from a water bottle that tracks your water intake and helps you stay healthy to a dog travel bag that's airline compliant. It's all about having, you know, that's what we call adding value. You want to value adding products, okay? And the product is just different. That's another characteristic that's, that's really important. If you're if you're trying to delineate what, what actually uh, epitomizes a winning product, it's a product that's just different. It's unique. It differentiates itself with the others in the market, okay? And the thing is, you, you have to think about the product as something slightly unusual. So here it is, boss. So when you think about how to find winning products every time, you gotta have those five characteristics that, that I just gave you in, in mind. It's very important. You, can't, you cannot easily find it selling elsewhere. So there has to be some kind of uh, exclusivity, okay? It must, it must not have any advertising restriction. The product has, must have a wow factor, okay? It must solve a problem and it must be different, a little different. So those are, those are the, the, the five things I want you to keep right now in your head. So here are the steps you are looking for when you can when you click on this video. So how do you find winning products every time? First thing first, you want to insert your competitor here. What am I trying to say? You want to look for the products that your competitor is selling or your competitors are selling. And I'm not asking, I'm not talking about your uh, your re, your remote competitors, your close competitors. You can tell them, you can see the the, the rivals there are selling the same product you are selling or the same product you want to sell. Okay, so most of your competitors have best seller list. Check them out. Even if you can't find their exact product, by studying their product collections, look for patterns within best selling products. Okay, so this is really important. So you want to constantly see what they're doing. You want to constantly see how they are packaging their products, what kind of descriptions they are using, what kind of product title they are using. It's all about, you know, it's not about copying and pasting what they are doing. It's just about gathering intel. Boss, you got to gather, you got, you need to gather intel to know exactly what they're doing so you can actually do what? Do better than them, okay? Keep an eye on your competitor's ads, boss. Your goal is to find what? Your goal is to find ads that have high engagement rates. The rates must be high, must be really high. Look for positive comments, people tagging their friends and family, okay? See which products really stand out. You know, the product that really bring the biggest interest and make notes for yourself. I want you to put down your remarks, put down your your, your feelings, put down your uh, your your gut feelings, okay? Your, your your impressions, very important, okay? Now, you wanna go to, the, to uh, your competitor's marketing funnel. So when you wanna click on the ad, you wanna see what kind of funnel they have. It's all about studying the whole process they are using from a lead magnet all the way to conversion to know exactly what they're doing. And the thing is, I'm not asking you to do this for only one rival here, boss. Not at all. You want to do this for one, two, three, four, five, five rivals. What we have seen in our research is that if you do it for, let's say, uh, for five rivals, you're really good. You're good to go. So, if you, But if you do it for one or two, you're not really getting the whole picture. But if you do it for three, four, or five, you get a, the bigger picture of what's really happening in your industry. And the, and, the, and the thing is, you need to know what's happening in your industry. You got to know. 
Otherwise, you're just like, you know, you're just leaving a lot of cash on the table. Okay, so and the thing is, you can use tools also. There are a lot of tools out there. If you're interested in, in this subject, just let us know. We'll give you, we'll send you a list of tools that can help you actually, uh, you know, quote unquote, spy on your competitor. So step number one, you want to study your competitor. Step number two, you want to dive into Amazon bestseller listings. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You know, the funny thing is Amazon Amazon bestseller listings are a treasure trove of uh, products. If you are trying to find winning products for drop shipping, this where this is this is really where it's at. Okay, Amazon. If you if you really think about it, Amazon is the Google of the e-commerce world, right? And the thing is that they are controlling, according to reports, 40 to 50 percent of the e-commerce, at least in the U.S. So it, it only makes sense to look at this platform first for product trends. Okay, and so Amazon bestsellers. It is actually the website that you need to bookmark and refer to when you do your product research. Very important, boss. So right now, I want you to go right now. Right now, I want you to bookmark the Amazon bestseller bestsellers uh, uh, page. Okay, their lists are based on sales, and and the cool thing is they update that list every hour. Think about it. So you can be sure that your findings are timely and focus on the right metrics. Okay, They're really important. So what you want to do here is when you look at, uh, let's say you look at the uh, Amazon bestsellers. The thing is you want to explore different categories see if you are in fashion for example you want to look at different categories do not actually limit your research to only one or two or three no our our again our advice here is analogous to what i said earlier you want to go to five categories okay and it's important to also uh, look at the second best selling product in each in uh, every category not just the best seller but also the best the second best selling product so you have a, a clear idea of where the market is going because Maybe you cannot comp you cannot compete with the best seller, but you may compete with the second best seller. Okay, so it's all about trials and errors. It's all about seeing which which uh, which rival you can go after without spending too much, without losing too much. Okay, so if you are look if you are out there, you are looking for winning products, and you are looking for your drop shipping winning products. Please consider Amazon bestseller listings. Okay, and it doesn't matter on what on which platform you you are going to sell the uh the product now you could be selling the same product on amazon or on another platform ebay etsy you know it, it could be it could be anywhere but the whole thing is you want to think about amazon as a very very important platform especially the the bestseller listings an important platform where you can glean relevant data for your drop shipping business Step number three, I want you to find more winning products on eBay watch count. The thing is here is that you are using a strategy that is similar, that is analogous to what you did with uh, Amazon. Okay, the, we love this tool, by the way. Watch count is really fantastic. So, but the thing is people say, well, why should, why should I uh, do some research on uh, eBay? Well, listen, we get it. Compared to Amazon, eBay does not look too huge. They don't look too big. However, this marketplace still takes third place among the top 10 e-commerce retailers in the United States in, in uh, this year. So there's a lot you can learn from it, okay? So eBay also has a cool tool to check what products are currently the most popular on the platform. It's called Watch Count, okay? You can see on the screen how it looks, okay? You can use Watch Count to find winning products for your online store and e eBay continuously tracks users who add products to their watch list and reports real-time results for different regions. This is really what, what, what we love about this tool. You're not only getting the list, the bestseller list, but also based on the geographies. And, and see, the thing here is that if you are in a, in, a, in a niche market, you want to pay attention to the geography because in an, a niche market, by definition, is already limited, is already reduced. So if you are able to zero in on a specific geography, you are going to win big time anyway because your competition is not there. That's for sure. Okay. Now, you can do a lot with, with the watch count. You can search products by keywords. You can explore the trends by categories. And so this is really good. And the cool thing is that if you find the product that you should sell, you, you are able to use watch count to do this because it allows you to see what's popular already on eBay. And the cool thing is if you are able to find a product on Amazon, 
say you find a product on Amazon and you are able to cross check eBay and you realize that it's also popular on eBay, guess what? It means that this product really sells. It is a winning product because if it's popular on two of the three most important platforms in the state, then you know you have something big happening. Okay, so this is really important. Now, if you have time, you can also search the second most uh, visited platform in the states. That's uh, that's Walmart. Okay, so after Amazon, you have Walmart, and then you have eBay, and then you have Etsy. So those are things I really want you to really navigate on several platforms. Do not limit your research on only one platform because. The, the 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 goal of the goal here is what to gather enough intel to know exactly what's happening on the in the market step number four boss what i want you to do here again we are still talking about drop shipping how to find winning products okay and uh step number four i want you to check google trends for a more a more detailed view google trends is, is kind of cool too what we know, what we love is that Google definitely knows what people want. And so you, what you want to do is you want to use it to your advantage. Okay. You can check what products are trending with Google trends. It's a tool that shows the relative popularity of search terms. Okay. This is really cool. And uh, you, and the thing is Google trends data mean what? If you search, it, let's say if, you, if your search term hits a value of, of uh, 100, it means the term is in its peak popularity. The lower the number goes, the less trending the search term is, okay? If you get a score of zero, it means that there was not enough data for this term. And the cool thing is with Google Trends, you can also see where in the world your potential customers are the most interested in your dropshipping products. Again, this is kind of cool if you have a niche market or a niche audience because with niche audiences, as I just said, the, the audience, the market is already limited. So it's important to know the geography, okay? Now, one thing I want to say here is that we love the fact that Google is, Google Trends is a popular free tool, okay? And it's all about seeing which products are growing or declining in popularity, okay? And uh, you can use it for finding winning products, not a problem. One thing I want to say here is that, again, all the tools I'm giving you in today's conversation, make sure that you are cross-checking tools from one tool, from one tool to another tool and so on and so forth. Do not limit your research to only one tool. Don't say, listen, I'm going to do only Amazon and I'm fine. You know, I, I do Amazon bestseller and I'm fine. I'm going to limit my search there. No. When you find a product, as I just said, you want to you want to cross check M Amazon, eBay, Google Trains. So you are sure that this product is really uh, is really uh, winning. Now, one thing I want I want to say also, you want to pay attention to the price. Because the last thing you want is to actually engage in a race to the bottom. We've said this before. You don't want to. You never want to engage in a race to the bottom in terms of uh, lowering your prices, your price, because your competitors is doing. Your competitors are doing the same thing. No, because because margins are margins on Amazon or even eBay for that matter are already thin. So you don't want to actually um, you know bring the, the margin even into negative territory by engaging in a war in a price war to the bottom. That's not going to help you at all. Another another place where you can find winning product is uh, Wish's winning product. So the, the, the marketplace Wish, you, you really have a lot of, uh, it's basically a treasure trove in our view. And Wish is another example of an online retailer who, pub, who actually publicizes their best selling products. Okay, take a look at, uh, so you can actually go to Wish and take a look at the popular products or the trending products. So you have a clear idea of what's really happening. And you wanna look at the views. You wanna look at the buys, the recent purchases, okay? So you have a clear idea of what people are, are actually buying, okay? Now, granted, Wish does not have the same traffic that Amazon has. It doesn't have the same traffic that eBay has or Etsy or Walmart Marketplace. However, it's still a big player in this space, okay? So if you head over, for example, to Wish's product page, you will see more impressive numbers based, if you pick one number, you will see every number, uh, you'll see more detailed stats about that product if you click on it, okay? And uh, so this is really good. And one thing you, you will notice is that on Wish, Wish, uh, the products really are, how do I say this? They are, they use a lot of visuals on Wish pictures high quality pictures high resolution pictures some in some cases videos okay you want to actually mimic that 
because if a product works because uh, the the seller has wonderful and impressive visuals make sure that you copy uh, their uh, their strategy because listen it's all about having winning products but sometimes you can have the best winning products possible if you if you have no idea how to display the product if you have no idea how to list the product if you have no idea about SEO not only SEO on on the platform where you want to sell the products but also SEO when it comes to Google if you have no idea about this if you're not optimizing your listing your listings you're not going to sell because you need to speak to the algorithm on the platform where you are selling for the algorithm to bring your product to your to potential shoppers for those potential shoppers to become actual shoppers okay there is a process that that's that's there and and that process you got to make sure that you actually listen to them you actually understand the process so this is really important One thing I also want you to I want you to do right now is to monitor high performing ads. You know the cool thing is when we talk about monitoring your high high performing ads, I'm not asking you to uh, look at all the ads that are possible. No, you want to you want to zero you want to zero in on your competitors' high performing ads. You want to zero in on you know on uh, products that are similar to yours or similar to the ones that you want to buy. Okay, so basically you're looking at a lot of things. You're looking not only see what we talk about high performing ads. I'm not just talking about the the ads itself, the visuals in the ad. I'm not talking about the uh, the design of the ads, the content. No, I'm talking about also the landing page. I'm talking about the lead magnet. Okay, the lead magnet strategy the strategy that they have in place. Okay, because the end of the day. You can learn a lot from your competitors' or ads. You can see how they do things, whether it's working or not. One thing I want to tell you here is that you there are many factors, according to our research, that are there to ensure that your winning product has the best chance of success. Okay, your ad, if you if you choose to actually uh, advertise, your ad needs to target and attract the right audience. Your website needs to convert. Very important. You need to convince customers to buy right now before going off and doing research. And the product should not be widely available. In other words, not in retail stores and more. Okay. So the, the 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 thing here is that you have to, as you can see, there's a lot that goes on in terms of having a high performing ad. Now you don't have to do it. You don't have to uh, to have an ad. If you feel like the product can, can sell by itself, then it's fine. Remember, when we talk about ads, we're speaking about what? We're speaking about, we're not speaking about organic uh, traffic here. We're speaking about outside traffic, external traffic. That's fine too, don't get me wrong. But sometimes if it's, be it's best to also have organic traffic. So what I'm trying to say here is if you're on Amazon, make sure to generate traffic from Amazon itself. If you are on Wish, if you are on Etsy, if you are on eBay, you want first you want you first want to please the what we call the internal lord. You know that that's basically the um, the, uh, the the algorithm. Okay. For instance, if you're on eBay, you want to please Cassini. You want to please you want to please the algorithm first before you start even thinking about having external traffic. Okay. So so bottom line here is monitor high performing ads so you can learn from your rivals and also replicate the same thing or even better. The last thing I want you to do here is, boss, I want you to use tools. If, you, if your goal is to uh, find winning products for your dropshipping business, I want you to use tools. And the thing is, there is a constellation of tools, okay? I'm not sitting here telling you that we have a, a full list of tools that you can use to, uh, to automate the whole thing because the goal is to automate the product research. The goal is to automate the uh, all the uh, ancillary processes, product research, reaching out to the supplier, you know, discussing price, minimum order quantity and whatnot so you want to have a tool because otherwise you can't you cannot scale if you keep doing things manually okay now we have two tools that i want to share with you but there are gazillions of tools out there but we there are two tools that we love that we have tried that we actually have tested and reviewed and uh, so the first one is unicorn smasher so if you are looking for let's say an amazon product research tool an ebay product research tool and uh, other platforms Unicorn Smasher will is, might be the good candidate for you because they help you find the best selling products for free, okay? And uh, they have a, a handy Chrome extension you can you can use to find the prices 
bestseller rank, reviews, ratings, and estimated sales in a single glance, okay? And this data is shown for every single product as long as you are on the .com domain. That, that's if you want to look for products on the Amazon.com, for example, or eBay.com for that matter, okay? So this is really good. The second tool that I want to share with you today is uh, Automizely. So you can use Automizely to find the product that you want. So within Automizely, you can get access to data for various AliExpress products. You can find out which products have had sales and which haven't, okay? With that Intel, you actually gain a lot of competitive competitive edge because you know that, hey, listen, this product has had, a lot, has had a lot of sales lately and I'm just going to piggyback on that success or I'm just gonna take a, a step back and study the market more before I actually get involved, okay? And uh, one thing you need to understand is that you need to keep in mind that some of the tools that I'm just sharing with you will actually give you products that are popular at specific times in the year based on seasonality or products that are actually are available all year long. So I want you to factor into the whole equation. I want you to factor into that equation the, uh, the seasonality effect, okay? And sometimes you have to think about cyclicality also. Seasonality and cyclicality. Some products, some products are not seasonal, they are cyclical. You know, they might come every year, not but not at the same time, okay? Whether even though even though they're uh, they're they like they don't look like seasonal or cyclical, they are. So you have to have a clear idea about the products that you want to you want to find and you want to sell. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about drop shipping, how to find winning products. So number one, you want to spy, quote unquote, spy on your competitor. Number two, dive into Amazon bestseller listings. Number three, find more winning products on eBay watch count. Number four, check Google Trends for a more detailed view. Number five, wishes winning products. Number six, monitor high performing ads. Number seven, use tools. Thank you so much. God bless you. I will see you next time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.